We're in New York. York. We made it. We're in NY Chinatown at Grand Street Park. And we are about to do the most requested Fung Bros food in New York we've ever had. The, the Halal, Halal guys. guys. On 53rd and 6th. But we're in Chinatown right now. How are we going to get to Midtown? Well, I say let's be real New York about it and hit, hit the, the subway. Subway, no $5 mm -hmm. footlongs. We're going to walk you through the MTA Metro card purchasing process. English, a single ride. I'm gonna pay with credit card, three dollars. Damn, you gotta do one by one. Yeah. We got Tim, we got Rich, moi, Mike, Andrew, and of course Kevin behind the camera. Yo, are we going to the Bronx or uptown? Uptown. uptown. Gotta give a dollar to the man with the ur who. Shit, shit. They said New York is the number one seller for deodorant. Do I need some more? Shout out to New York trains because they actually are pretty clean. Forty seventh and fiftieth. Every time I've been to the Halal guys, there are a lot of Asians. And why is that, Andrew? Because Asians are always gonna find the most highly rated cheap Yelp spot. One dollar sign. <laughs> All right, we are standing in line at the original location of the Halal guys. I'm pretty excited. You never know who in New York you bump into. We have our friends. Dilal, hi. Clarice. Where are you guys based out of? Dubai. Dubai. Why do people, when they come to New York, they have to come here? It's actually really, really good. It's on TripAdvisor. <laughs> it's on TripAdvisor. <laughs> we love chicken and rice. All right, one thing you got to know when you're doing the whole log, guys, you can actually get the sauce on the plate. But if you don't say anything, it's going to come in these separate containers. But you know, for me, I just like them squirting it all on there. Most people at the Halal Guys get the combo. That means you get rice, salad, chicken, and you get lamb. So we got our chicken, lamb, and rice. How do you guys want to eat these? I'm feeling some standing and some squatting. That's oh, tight. Squatting, I like that. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Now that you got that, you got to get the next thing, the white sauce. White sauce. Alright, you're ah. supposed to use it liberally. Oh, the red sauce. Caution, be very careful. Alright, so this red sauce is notorious for being ultra, super, uber spicy. Alright, for me, I'm gonna go like this. Oh, oh, that's kind of a lot. I'm not scared. The third more ignored sauce is the barbecue sauce. Let it marinate. We gotta sit down and eat this. You have your salad with iceberg lettuce, pitas, lamb, and chicken. I'm going with the red sauce. Yo. It's hot! We get the white sauce counteracted. For me, you gotta get the proper amount of rice. Rice really brings everything together. That's like the glue. Bro. Let's break down the rice. It got a lot of flavor. It's a little bit oily. It's got its own spice to it. It just all come together, man. When you have the rice, you know, that can get a little salty, but then you want that freshness, you go with the iceberg lettuce. I heard the white sauce is a secret, but there is some mayonnaise, there is some yogurt in it, but nobody else knows what's in the white sauce. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't really paying attention. I thought the red you sauce was a barbecue sauce. Whoa, son, are you okay? No, it's cool, man. It's hot, but it, I like hot. hot. <laughs> you gotta be careful, fellas. We got napkins over here. Let's break down the chicken real quick. A lot of dark meat used, a lot of pepper, and it's juicy. I recommend that you get the combo plate. It's the same price, and it's $7, so get the lamb. Look at all those spices. You got all herbs and seeds and thyme. I just had a big piece of chicken in my mouth, and you don't even gotta chew on it. It breaks down in your mouth, it's yeah. that tender. There's almost real no way to really break this down. I tried. What's cool is that you're sitting on this corner around thousands of people. I'm so surprised at how this halal cart has impacted the rest of street food in New York. I feel like you got a lot of sauce, but you're avoiding the hot oh, sauce. Hold up, hold up. Oh. Look, guys, it's time. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take the hottest bite I've ever taken. All right, all right. Oh, there we go. Is that hot enough? That's hot enough. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. I gotta go re-up on the white sauce. I'm re-upping on the red sauce. Man, he's so tough. Oh my gosh. All right, it's hot though. I did start sweating a little bit more after I ate the hot sauce. No regrets. Hey, I had to make the reservoir of white sauce in case it got a little bit too spicy. Okay, so my two major takeaways about the Halal guys are how finely they chop everything actually completely changes the complexion of the dish. And that allows the white sauce to draw everything together. My second takeaway is that everybody in line seems pretty chill, open-minded, because the line for Halal guys has people from every single walk of life. For a lot of people, this is gonna be their first time introduced to Middle Eastern food, so what better place than New York where there's a lot of diversity, it's authentic. And I do think this food does fit the American palate quite well. Comparable to a Chipotle rice, Bowl. Definitely think this is a quintessential part of the New York tourist experience. Personal tip, you should get the red sauce, but go easy on it. The, the New, New York, York experience. experience. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that 53rd and 6th Halal Guys episode of Fun Bros Food in New York. Remember to not fall for the imitation Halal Guys. Watch this video over there, watch this video right here. Leave down in the comments below what else you want us to do in New York. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.